Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crop an image using Photoshop. So to start off with just want to explain a few things. Um, I'm going to just open up my web browser and go to my own website and the reason why I'm looking at my own website is I want to make an image. I've already made one image here you can see that of this London skyline sort of thing here and this was a much larger image before and I cropped it to make it fit nicely into this position here so there's really one thing that I need to know is I need to know the width and the height of this image because I want to create another image to put in this position as well so I need to know the width and the height and when we crop images in Photoshop we really want to know in most cases especially if we're doing web stuff or even print design we want to know exactly the pixel width and the exact height and sometimes that's not so apparent so if I wanted to put an image in here for example let's say below this paragraph I'm going to highlight the paragraph let's just say I wanted to put an image in here somewhere and I wanted to measure the width and you know roughly measure the height the width is very important the height we can fluctuate but the width if it's too wide it's going to go off the screen here or it's going to come off the document it's going to look very messy so um, we need to measure the widths as well. So in this case, uh, first of all, we need to look at. I'm going to look at this top image. I'm going to right-click on it. There's a few ways that you can get the actual width and the height of an image that already exists uh, on a web page. So let me, one example, I'm going to come down here and click on this image. Right-click on it. I'm using Firefox, and I'm going to say View Image Info. And when I do that, it's going to tell me the width and the height here. So that's one way I can find the width and height of a specific image. Um, with the image in this header up here, it's slightly different. I need to view it as a background image and then I can right click on it and view the info here and I can see it's 940 pixels by 188. So this is actually the size of the image that I want to crop. I want to create an image that is 940 by 188 pixels. I'm going to copy this information and I'm going to paste it into Notepad because probably I'm going to forget. So I'm just going to dump that into Notepad just so that I can might even label it. Let's just label it anyway. Let's just call it header image. So it's going to be the image up in the top of the website. And I'm going to click the back arrow here just to get back to my website. And if I wanted to put an image below this paragraph, I actually want to get the measurement, the, the width starting from here to here and then I can work out the height afterwards you know the height is it's important but the width is more important if it's, if it's not the right width it's not going to work so there's a few ways that I can work out the width I could print screen this web page and take it into Photoshop and do the measurement there but that's a bit long winded there's a few other ways of doing it in different image editing software and I'm pretty sure there's some savvy ways of doing it but you know the most easiest way I've found to create measurements off of this particular web page or any web page in fact is to use a tool uh, a plugin for Firefox it's also available for Google Chrome I believe it's available for a few different browsers I'm happen to be using Firefox so the tool that I'm speaking about you can see it in the right hand corner here top right corner it's called measure it and I just want to first show you how to install that plugin quickly I'm going to go to Google and type in measure it and as I type it in I'm going to see Chrome if I click the space I'm going to see Chrome Firefox Safari and you know there's a few different versions here and the one that I'm actually I've actually installed is Firefox I'm going to click on Firefox and I'm going to see the plugin here and I'm going to go click on the link and then you can just add it to Firefox and just click allow and it's going to ask you to you know accept it as an installation I'm going to say install now it's going to ask me to restart Firefox I'm just going to quickly restart it and I can close this down now that plugin is installed I've already installed it already but that's just the process of getting the plugin installed and then I can click on this plugin just measure it and it's going to gr kind of grey out my website in the background it's going to fade it out and I'm going to get this cr this uh, new tool it's like a little crosshair here and I'm going to use that to literally measure what I want. So I want the image that I'm going to crop in this case to be 
660 pixels wide it might be a little bit difficult to see but it's 660 pixels wide and the height really I can I can judge that for myself this is 130 pixels so let's say we wanted it to be 250 pixels you know let's just see what what, what 250 will that's probably a bit too big so let's say let's make it 200 so 660 pixels by 200 so let's make a little note of that so we're going to crop two images we're going to crop one for this and then another one for this this section here so we're going to do 660 pixels by 200 pixels and we're just going to write here main content for example just so that we know it's going to go into the main content over here okay well that's really done so you know you don't really have to do that process but it's worth having that information the sizing information up front before you crop your image it's going to save you a lot of time a lot of headache having to keep going back to photoshop to edit the file now that i know this it's going to make my life a lot easier so try and try and do that especially if you're doing any web work or any print work try and work out your measurements before you do your cropping okay let's forget about the, the website for the minute and i've got this um folder on my desktop and inside this folder i've got an image so it's worth having this information in notepad because you can see let's just open the image and look at it and i want to crop some of this image out and use it in the header just as an example and also use it in the content area of my website i'm only doing this as an example i wouldn't particularly use this this particular image but in this sample i'm going to use this image because it's very wide and it's, it's it's much wider than uh, the image that I actually want to create. So one thing to note here, you can see the dimension is 6,076 by 2,303 pixels and it's a 2.13 megabyte file. So this is, I, I could in theory upload this image straight to my website but it's going to take forever to download this 2 megabyte file, it's just way too big. So we want to do some work to this and crop it to this size and then crop it to this size afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to go and load up Photoshop. And when Photoshop loads up, I'm going to drag and drop this image into Photoshop. And that's going to load up. And it's going to load up as default, it's going to load up as a background image. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to say layer from background. And I'm going to click OK, just accept the defaults. And I'm going to be able to manipulate this image now. And there's loads of tools down the side here, all these different tools. I'm going to do other tutorials explaining some of these other tools. Now you've got text writing tools and so forth. But this is really the tool we want to look at today. It's called the crop tool. And if you notice when I hover over it, it's got the letter C. And if you can try and memorize these hotkeys, so if I press the letter C on my keyboard, it's going to go and select that tool. So I have to keep coming to select this tool. You can use the keyboard to do that, or you can just click on it. And if you if you hold the mouse button down, you see there's some other options here, the slice tool and slice select tool. So if you see these ones here, you can you can hold the mouse down and make sure you select the crop tool here. This is the one that we want to use. Now, if we look at that little notepad file we had, let's have a look here. We want it to be 940 pixels by 188 pixels. So what we need to do, before we actually do the cropping, we need to come up here. I've got some information there. This is, this is for a previous crop that I did. And let's just check that again. It's 940 by 188. So in here, I'm going to write 940. And I'm going to put PX, this stands for pixel, and I'm going to put 188 and pixel. And the resolution, I'm going to set it at 72, 72 pixels per inch. The reason I'm setting it to 72 is because I'm going to export this and I want to save it for using on my website. Now, if I set it to a much higher resolution, that might have been good for print design work, but we're not doing printing today in this example. This is really for, you know, uh, adding this image to a website. So now that I've got these settings set up correctly at the top here, this is why it was really important to get the measurements first on the website. When I select the tool and I drag, you can see that it's almost constrained. It's it's giving me the shape of the the image that I want. It's almost like a a landscape image. You can see that. So I've, so I've dragged the image or dragged the tool to select you know some some part of the image that I want and you can see the gray area or the darker area around the background here that's what's going to get cut away and I'm going to be left with this part of the content here so if 
if you know if I want to move it around, I can move it down and get more accurate um, positioning of as to what I want to crop. And I may want to crop it probably about here. And I can adjust it by using the slider. These the, these little corners here, I can adjust it and stretch it a little bit more and get more of the image in if I want to do that. And you can see exactly what you're going to crop now. If you want to see more of this this background, the darker background, because you're not seeing quite clearly what you're cropping, you can use the opacity tool here, and you can increase uh, or decrease it, should I say, to see more of this this original image that you're going to get rid of. You, this is the stuff we're going to crop out of. But you know, as default, you should, if you leave it around 70, 70, 75 percent, you should clearly see what you're cropping. We're going to get rid of that and be left with this. So I'm just going to go to uh, image and I'm going to click on crop and when I crop it you can see the image has gone really really small and you're probably thinking well what's going on it looks tiny that's not the size that we asked for it's because it's, it's basically to do with this zooming so if I set it to 100% now we can see the image at its actual size and if we were to try and compare that to what we see on the website you know you can oops you can probably see let's try that again you can probably see if I can get them both on the screen. So look here. Uh, okay. Here we go. That's a bit better. You can probably see that the images quite clearly are the same size, the same width, and the same height. That's what we wanted. So now I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to click Save As, and I'm going to save it into the same folder that's on my desktop. And I want to save it as a JPEG file. I'm going to call it image for cropping or I need to rename this. I don't want to overwrite my original file. So I'm just going to put 01 underscore 01 so it's going to save it as a new file. I don't want to overwrite the existing file that's already in my folder. I want to keep that one, the original one, because I'm going to use it again. So I'm just going to click the save. And when this options pop up, it's you know this is really to do with compression, this is not really to do with image cropping we've done that job but just to show you uh, some compression when we add this image to the website we've got this preview option it's ticked and I don't as we move this slider down or up it's going to increase or decrease the file size here so we want to set it around if I set it, if I put it right down to the bottom it's going to pixelate it's going to look a bit blurry and it's going to look crap to be honest so we don't really want it to look like that we're going to increase it to around seven, seven quality, and that's going to look good enough for the website. And it's going to reduce the file size. We may make it a little bit larger, actually. Let's make it eight. So it's good quality. I'm going to click OK, and that's that job done. Now I've got that image. It was two over two meg, and now it's sixty-seven kilobytes, and it's the right size. There it is. Perfect. So let's go and do that job one more time and this time we're going to use the other measurements so I can close this and say no I want to save that we're going to drag the image in again <coughs> and this time we're going to crop to the other size which was 660 by 200 so we can because we used this tool just before it's remembered what we what we put in here before it's kind of made our life a little bit easier so we just need to put 660 by 200 we can go ahead and do that 660 by 200 and we're going <clears> to <throat> make sure the cropping tool is selected on this background we're going to right click on it and layer from background and click OK and then we can edit this back uh, this, this image now and we're going to crop it again it's going to be a different size crop and we'll select uh, let's say we'll select this part of the image to crop let's move it around a little bit let's get that much Let's get it right here. This is this is good. And we're going to go to layer, sorry, image, and crop again. And you don't you don't need to zoom back in, but it's nice to see the image itself. And that image is going to get used here on, on this section here. So we've got the image at the top here, and we've got the we've cropped the image for this section here as well. I'm actually going to, in fact, I'll actually add them to the website as an example. We're going to, we're going to see what they look like on the website as well. We might as well do that as well. So I'm going to go again, file, save as, and I'm going to call this one, I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to call it 02, because I've already got a 01 there. I want to call it 02, the second image, 
we're going to save that and we'll set it at around uh, let's set it a little bit lower this time let's set it around six six quality that should be good enough it's going to look okay we click OK and then we're done with our cropping. That's it. Simple as. <clears throat> so I've got these two images now. One's at 38 and one's at 67 kilobytes. I'm just going to go over to the website and I want to add these images in. So, you know, the cropping job is really done. You can stop this video if you like, but I'm going to add it to the website just to see what it looks like anyway. Um, so let's just go and do that. Just give me one minute. So I'm just in my admin control panel. I'm going to edit the home page, and you can see this this uh, this image here. I'm going to actually upload the image, the two images that I have, and I'm going to upload them into my home directory. So I'm going to browse and go to my desktop, and I'm going to select uh, image zero one. I'm going to upload that. I'm going to browse again, I'm going to upload both images and I'm going to upload that one as well ok so I've got the images let's just click on that and select it I need this bit of information here and then cancel that I'm just going to paste this I need this bit of info and I want to go in here and edit this content so now I can see these two images they're actually going to slice so this actually an image slider so I'll show you that working anyway and then I want to add the second image let's just say we want to add it just below this first paragraph here as an example I'm going to go ahead and do that as well let's find 02 as the second image we're going to select that and add that into here let's just save this and let's refresh this so we've got the image in here, it's exactly the right size and you can see the image sliding, I've made this image slider and that's going to slide between the two images that I, the one that I cropped and the original one that I had. So that's the basic tutorial of cropping images in Photoshop, I've actually added them to the website just to give you an example, I'm going to remove them in a minute, but um, I hope you enjoyed this DCP web tutorial and keep an eye out for more tutorials.